Hi and welcome to a new Decred bi-weekly news update. I'm your host Exodus and today we're going to be looking at some of the new features coming up in Decred version 1.6 from the release candidate. I tested out the release candidate and was pleased to see just how easy it is to opt into the new privacy features and mix my coins right in the Decred wallet. With the press of a button, the mixer starts up and coins are gradually filtered from your unmixed account to your mixed account. The mixer obfuscates ownership of your DCR coins and from there you can choose to purchase tickets or transact normally knowing there is no history tied to your freshly mixed coins. Checkmate took to Twitter to talk about his first coin mix going through for less than one cent. The new voting service provider implementation is here as well, and it makes staking even easier than it was before. Users will no longer have to sign up to a VSP, they just have to make a selection in the wallet. These new stake pools also work with the new privacy features. Enabling VSP tickets to be purchased with funds mixed through CoinShovel++ increases the size of the overall anomaly set, which in turn provides a greater level of privacy for all Decred users. Currently, almost 20% of Decred coins have been mixed. Once the release goes live and Decrediton users begin mixing, we will see these numbers go up considerably. A Lightning Network tab is now available in the wallet, prompting the user to create a special Lightning wallet. From there, you can make use of Lightning by opening channels, creating invoices, or sending payments. Lightning allows for nearly instant and fee-less transactions since it's a second layer solution. And transactions are only settled on chain once you close out your Lightning channel. If you'd like to test out this release candidate for yourself, I'll leave a link in the video description. It's still in the process of getting polished, so don't expect everything to be complete. The DCR DEX is fully operational with trades now being executed over mainnet, open to anyone that wants to participate. There is no know your customer, no exchange fees, no loss of custody of your coins, no bots, and bad actors are punished if they try to manipulate the system. Trades are done via atomic swaps. The DEX data has even been added to the markets page of dcrdata.org. A volume of over 200,000 DCR has been traded on the DEX since its launch. Visit dex.decred.org to learn more and download the client for yourself. A few different guides are available if you'd like to join. However, currently the setup process is command line based and can be a bit intimidating for less technical users. Richard Red has a guide out for Linux and there is a basic walkthrough on the DEX GitHub. Ricardo Off has created a full guide in Portuguese on Windows as well. To trade to or from Bitcoin, you will need a pruned Bitcoin node. A pruned Bitcoin node only takes about 5 gigabytes of hard drive space, but it still must download and sync the entire Bitcoin chain, so it may take a while depending on your internet and hardware. A graphical user interface should be in the works to make the process of getting on the DEX a bit easier and will be announced when it has arrived. It should be noted that this is an initial release or MVP, meaning it's a minimal viable product and there are still plenty of upgrades and new cryptocurrency pairs to come. The end goal is to get the DEX integrated into Decred's wallet to Crediton. The decentralized treasury upgrade vote is coming soon. It even popped up on voting.decred.org, so get your tickets ready to vote. Decred coin holders actually get to vote on consensus changes, unlike in most cryptocurrencies, which are run by a small group of people. Politea is coming to mobile. This update will allow mobile users to view Decred Politea proposals, view Politea proposal details, view vote status of Politea proposals, and receive notifications for proposals. The Decred network has processed its 500,000th block, with no inflation bugs, no double spend attacks, no forks, and no minor stalling innovation, as noted by Darth Crypto on Twitter. There was also lots of great community involvement in new podcasts. Let's take a look. Everything else that I've seen in 1.6, you know, everything is headed in the right direction. Uh, I am still interested, you know, big picture on where, how do we get this to an environment where people want to lend Decred and where they want to create uh, Decred denominated debts and they want to sell products for Decred. I, I think we have to find a way to think more in terms of bootstrapping, more in terms of how do we create raw demand for Decred because the, the, the engineering pitch is very, very sound, but it does not work on uh, most business decision makers for, for a variety of reasons that you know, should or shouldn't be true. We could argue about that, but they are. Um, so my, you know, I'm curious if you guys talk about that internally, like what is the killer app that's going to make people need to buy Decred? We need retail people to come in and when they look at the panoply of cryptocurrencies that are offered, uh, we need them to choose Decred and there needs to be a super compelling reason and it cannot be you know, hybrid governance or like long term, like interest rates, right? They're talking about an interest rate only applies once the person has the coin. And step one is which coin do I buy? What I'm excited for is what comes next. What is the next phase of the Decred venture now that all of these core foundational technologies are built and delivered? And, uh, you know, I'd love to see where it goes from there. The community sometimes asks, you know, what's the value of being quoted in an article that's about Bitcoin or, or a topic that's not 
really related to decred, which, decred, which I think is a good question. Um, you know, and the answer is there can be several benefits. So, you know, one is that we're being positioned as an authoritative voice in the crypto space, which, as we've mentioned, is important for establishing trust and familiarity. Um, but it's also a great way to build relationships with journalists. You know, these kind of stories, it's, it's gotten our spokespeople on the phone with key journalists and, you know, they've often had a much wider conversation, you know, than what you see in the article. You know, they talked about the topic, but they've also talked about Decred, um, you know, provided a background. And so that's, you know, educating um, the journalists, you know, they have a deeper understanding of of the project and that can really be useful long term when we come to pitching them company news and we're looking for those those stories more about Decred. Decred Society made a video talking about the importance of fully validating nodes. Running a full node helps to keep the network decentralized, um, also adds a lot more robustness. So if you imagine this like a big, a big database where the database isn't held in one place, it's actually held in multiple different places. So everyone that runs a full node actually makes it a lot more robust, it actually makes it um, a lot harder for people to kind of hack or for people to kind of tamper with. Ultimately, you do want a system to be all pretty much running the same piece of software. And that's where Decred is second to none, where it makes everyone upgrade at the same time. It makes them vote on whether they want the upgrade or not before the upgrade can actually happen. Decred Society has been creating some great content. Be sure to give them a sub on YouTube. Stake Podcast has been churning out many episodes featuring various members of the community. Decred, as opposed to Bitcoin, attracts um, a different kind of investor, someone who might not see the value of Bitcoin. You know, they see it as that kind of digital pet rock because of that DAO like structure. I think giving people what appears to seem like this, you know, sort of equity money type of thing, it, it attracts someone. I, I know this for a fact because I had a friend who I've been trying to get him on Bitcoin for a long time. And he called me today, in fact, and he was like, Oh, I've been seeing what you're saying about Decred. I actually like that because I feel like I actually own something. He's like, Bitcoin, I don't feel like I own anything. He's like, this, I feel like I own something. That DAO structure and the future of DAOs, where do you see that going? And, and what qualities make for the best DAO? I, I don't really know. You know, when it comes to like a DAO, you think about like maybe just community, but it's just a good start. But the problem is that's such a qualitative soft metric. What you really want is uh, you know shit actually being built out by the DAO, right? You want also a large treasury, right? Like for example, you know I published that piece on on DAO accounting, and you know uh, based on the estimate that I made, you know at these prices, Decred the the Decred treasury only has like eight more years of runway, right? What you really want is like you know the the future of DAOs. You want a fat fucking treasury that can like you know fund you know work and build out and you know infrastructure build out you know for hundreds of years right you know at the top of the last decred bull market i think 80 years was like the projected amount of time that the the treasury runway had which is insane right so what you really want is you want a lot of money you want a lot of dev talent and you want a lot of shit getting built be sure to follow him on youtube or spotify there were also several updates from mon pr decred project lead jq compai was interviewed on authority magazine talking about his background and how decred plans to redefine blockchain governance Decred researcher Richard Red was featured on AMB Crypto discussing whether or not DeFi will collapse the crypto market, similar to collateralized debt obligations did. Richard says, at an aggregate level, the degree to which DeFi users string different protocols and smart contracts together must also result in some systemic risk, as each smart contract relies on the inputs from other smart contracts to behave in a predictable way. Richard was also asked by Cointelegraph his thoughts on the rise of DeFi versus the 2008 financial collapse, saying many people who participate in DeFi recognize that what they are doing is risky, but are enticed to take those risks by high rates of return on their locked assets. Another difference is the much faster speed at which the DeFi ecosystem is developing. MonPR also secured many different news headlines for the launch of the Decred decks, including CoinMarketCap, CryptoPotato, and Bankless Times. Decred Latin America is running a blockchain learning challenge through Talentland. This includes a week of workshops about Bitcoin, blockchain, and various elements of the Decred project. The competition is based around original project development with $2,500 in prizes. If you're a Spanish speaker, I would absolutely recommend checking out the Decred Espanol YouTube channel, Twitter, and Telegram group as there's lots of good content being created. An October report for the Brazil proposal social media work is now available to see on Reddit. It showcases growth and activity. The Brazilian exchange Novadax has launched a Decred 
Decred debit card that allows exchange between DCR and the Brazilian fiat currency on 23,000 ATMs from Brazil. Now let's see what's happening on Politea, Decred's proposal system. On Politea, we have four new proposals published and one that is finished voting. First up is the GoDCR Golang native desktop wallet from Radar. This proposal seeks funding for eight months of work totaling 60,000 US dollars to build out a new desktop wallet for Decred using Geo, which is a Golang library for implementing immediate mode user interfaces. A demo was shown a few months back of the new wallet in action. Radar says a major benefit of building capabilities for GoDCR is that the mobile wallets will also get access to these new features, as GoDCR shares backend Golang code with the Decred mobile wallets via the DCR lib wallet component. Upcoming features include the ability to stake using the new VSPD stake pools, Politea integration, improved design, coin control, and dark mode. GoDCR will be released on Windows, Mac, and Unix platforms. The proposal also includes a sponsorship of $1,000 per month to the Geo project, whose developers are continually working on and supporting the software. Decred will be listed as a sponsor on their website. Comments thus far have been supportive of the proposal. The Mobile Wallet's 2020 to 2021 proposal was also published for discussion by Radar. This proposal is for continuing work on the Decred mobile wallets for the Android and iOS platforms, which has been ongoing since 2018. The mobile wallets are continually being developed and upgraded with a host of new features coming to them, such as privacy support, Politea viewing, staking, coin control, dark mode, password input delay, and much more. If you haven't already tried the mobile wallets out, they are available on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store for a download. The budget for this proposal has a billing limit of 52,000 US dollars paid in Decred spread out over eight months. This budget is based off of average ongoing costs with additional allowances allocated for new developers to join. Commenters have praised the reputation and output of the mobile wallets team, with many happy to see this developer-based proposal go to Politea. When asked if we can expect all of these new mobile features completed in this proposal window, Radar says releases will come quickly quicker if community members step up to help with testing and bug reporting. There is a new proposal from Paris Smithson to build out the YDCred website. Paris says the purpose of the YDCred website is to better communicate Decred's value to the market using an innovative strategy combining art and concise messaging. The site is designed to take you on a fascinating, inspiring journey, firstly exploring why money has been corrupted worldwide, showing why a solution is needed, then clearly showing how and why Decred is superior to most if not all other cryptocurrency projects. He plans to request a budget of about $900 per art piece, which would go along with a written, completed section of the website. These funds would go towards the art itself, writing, polishing, social media marketing, and more. He also requests $2,400 for one month of experimental marketing efforts. He plans to set up a marketplace on the website from which the art could be sold. For more information, you should visit ydecred.com and follow Paris Smithson on Twitter. The Decred Address Scanner proposal is here from Joe Gruff. The Address Scanner is a lightweight app that can track Decred addresses on Android. It has already been in the Google Store for over a year with 500 plus downloads and is already open source on GitHub. One purpose is to help track tickets for when they have voted. The user receives a sound and visual notification on their mobile device, helping them keep track of their purchase Decred tickets. The requested budget is totaled at 9,000 US dollars, which would pay for password completed and updates and new features to the app. Joe says the work would take about four months and will be performed by himself and other contractors who would like to contribute. Be sure to sign up on proposals.decred.org if you have any questions or suggestions. The Decred Content and Asset Translation proposal passed with 75% yes votes. In total, 11,554 votes were cast, which means there was a voter turnout of 28%. This proposal allocates a budget of 33,000 US dollars payable in Decred for ongoing translation work. Thank you so much for tuning into this Decred bi-weekly news update. If you'd like to join the community, please check the links in the video description and happy staking. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at decred.org.